Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video, and today we're finally doing the comparison y'all have been asking for, the Canon RF85 1.2 and its brother, the 1.2 DS, which means deep focus smoothing. Now, it's taken me a while to do this comparison because I own this lens and I don't own this lens, so I actually had to rent the regular Canon RF85, which I used to own, and if you've seen my previous videos, you know, but to make the long story short, I sold this lens to get the RF 70 to 200. After selling it, I ended up missing it, so I picked up the DS version. So for this video, I had to rent this one again to kind of pit them against each other. For this video, we're doing things a little differently, so I wanna go ahead and roll a slideshow of pictures I took yesterday with the wife, comparing these two lenses, then we can talk about the results after. So let's roll the clip. So my thoughts, it's very interesting because these lenses are optically the same, right? They have the same amount of elements, they have the same amount of aperture blades, they weigh the same, they feel the same, they look the same. It's all about the coating that the DS version has, it gives you that different background blur. So when you really look at that, it's really gonna come down to preference, right? You, I can't say one lens is better than the other, and I can't say I'm gonna recommend one lens over the other because of the fact that this is really all about preference. These two lenses are optically brilliant and amazing and Canon's RF lineup is just stunning. But they give you a different background blur. Like this is what we're really talking about here when comparing these 285s is which background blur do you prefer? There's no right or wrong answer here. And for me, I do prefer the look of the DS version. It looks different. There's not many lenses that look this way or give you this type of results. So for me, kind of being unique in the marketplace does mean that it, I think is worth the extra 300 bucks. Now for you, you might think this one looks perfectly fine. You wanna save $300 and you know what? There's nothing wrong with that because this lens is also just, it's like I said, it's brilliant, it's amazing. It's the best 85 millimeter on the market, hands down. And if you disagree, fight me in the comments. I'm joking, don't do that. But this really comes down to preference. So you saw the images. I'm gonna upload a Dropbox folder with the images in full resolution in case you wanna pixel peep. Quick note I wanna make, I also did test autofocus performance both in low light and in regular light, 
and the lenses performed absolutely the same. So there is no autofocus performance differences between both lenses, even though one, the DS version lets in less light. So I know I had a question in the previous video if the DS would struggle in low light. And for my testing, they were both identical. So carry on. But my opinion, I do like the unique look of the DS. They're both like literally right there. So overall, really curious to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below and hopefully you enjoyed this comparison. So as always, please like the video, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Let me see if I can do this. Peace.